Welcome back. So far, we have seen what is the meaning of Six Sigma and Lean, how they evolved over time. In the first unit we also saw, D make at a glance. Since, we are in defined phase, we must know what are the deliverable that should be planned in a Lean Six Sigma project. In this lesson, we'll cover the D make deliverables and defined phase deliverables as well. Have you yet met, Alex the Carpenter? One from our introductory case study that we shared with you. Now if we want to know the further details how he approached to improve the quality and services of his factory. We will have to understand the DMake phases in more detail and also learn what are the deliverables in a Six Sigma journey. In the Define phase, a project charter is created. Making use of tools like VOC, CTQ matrix, SIPOC analysis, process map it is found out that what is important to customer. What are the visible gaps in the process and what are the measures which should be monitored so that the output meets the customer requirement? All the details like problem statement, goal statement, scope, resources, milestones, deliverables, objectives, metrics and baseline go into a project charter. In the measure phase detailed as is processes identified and documented, this will later help in finding the specific improvement areas. The measurement system analysis is performed to increase the confidence that the measurement system is working well, and data collected won't have variation due to measurement tools and techniques, or because of the one who is taking measurements. Also the initial baselines are established which will be used to compare and find out if improved state has actually improved or not. In the analyze phase the potential causes behind variation are analyzed based on the data collected in measurement phase. Significant relationship between the causes and output is established through data analysis. Sifting of access is done so that focus can be given to the vital few reasons. Improvement phase consists of deciding the possible actions. A piloting of the solution is done and if it goes well, implementation is done across the scope of the project or is appropriate. Sometime, one project may lead to improvement plan implementation across the organization. Control phase consists of methods which help in sustaining the improvements made in improvement phase. You'll get to see in the last unit what kind of control measures are taken. After each phase is over, tollgate reviews are conducted to ensure the progress and resolve any impediments. By the end of the define phase, we should have a project charter and storyboard, detailing out the business case, problem statement and goal statement, project scope, constraints and assumptions team roles and responsibilities, important stakeholders, preliminary project plan with risk analysis and schedules etc. Besides these elements, another important activity is to identify the primary and secondary metrics, that will be monitored during the project, and create their initial baselines. If required, the project charter is revisited and updated. Financial saving estimates are also calculated. It is during the define phase that we also select the improvement methodology to be used. Now we move on to the next lesson. Just below this video, you can mark this chapter complete. Help us help you in a better way by providing feedback on each lesson. Should you need any support, feel free to contact us. Start active participation on our social media forums, share what you have learnt, Ask queries, answer to questions. Make use of every learning opportunity. Thanks for watching this video.